What's up guys? Welcome back to Daily Ed, where you get smarter daily. In this video, we're going to be talking about kinematics of free fall, or simply free fall motion. All right, let's get started. Our problem says, the tallest volcano in the solar system is the 30 kilometer tall Martian volcano Olympus Mons. An astronaut drops a ball off the rim of the crater and that the free fall acceleration of the ball remains constant throughout the ball's 30 kilometer fall at a value of 3.5 meters per second. We assume that the crater is as deep as the volcano is tall, which is usually not the case in nature. Find the time for the ball to reach the crater floor. All right, so first of all, as always, we will start by drawing our picture because drawing in physics will take us a long way. So first of all, we want to draw a little, little volcano. Something like that, right? So we have a little astronaut on the top. Obviously, this is not drawn to scale. Our volcano is 30 kilometers uh, tall. And we have a little astronaut, 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 astronaut <laughs> that drops the ball. And this ball is going to hit the crater floor. And we know our distance is going to be 30 kilometers because that's what the problem told us. They also give us a G in this case of 3.5 meters per second squared. So we always want to, we always want to write our variables on the side. So we got an X of 30 kilometers because gravity is in 3.5 meters per second. We want to convert our kilometers into meters. In this case, we have 30,000 meters, right? So we want to change in time. That's what we're looking for. So what do we do? We look at our kinematics equations, first of all, and we try to find one of the equations that has everything given. Now, think about it this way. We have one that has gravity or acceleration, same thing, because it's constant acceleration. We have one that has uh, distance, x. We have one that has time, but that same one has also v naught, but we don't have v naught. But in reality, yes, we do, because if the astronaut drops the ball from the top, its V-naught is actually zero. So we actually have that as well. It's just not stated. So with that in mind, that equation is change in X equals V-naught T plus one half G T squared. And actually, this is not X. This is actually change in y because we are talking about gravity and dropping a ball. So we are dealing with y. So then we want to find time it takes for the ball to hit the crater. In that case, we go ahead and rearrange our equation to give us time. So how do we do that? We have, we have, uh, we have our y. We have uh, this immediately goes to zero because it's a zero. So we're left with y equals one half gt squared divided by two. I mean, divide by one half uh, to bump it to this side. It becomes a two. Two y equals two gt squared. We divide by g to get rid of it. And we take a square root to give us our time. So when we plug it in, we have something that looks like this. Y, our X, 30,000 meters over our G of 3.5. And with that in mind, after we, uh, after we take this, we have time of 130.931 seconds. So second part of, the, of this question, I was going to do a separate video, but um, it appears that I could just go ahead and do it right here because it won't take long. Our second part asks, find the magnitude of the velocity with which the ball hits the crater floor. So we want to find V final. So what is V final? Let me flip this paper. So we want V final, right? So now we have our given time of one 
30.931 seconds, we have our g of 3.5 meters per second. And we have our y, etc. And so we look, we look again in our kinematics equations, which one has all of, all of the uh, references, all of the variables we're looking for. We have final velocity, we have v naught, which is zero, we have acceleration and then we have time. So it appears that this simple equation is the one that we're gonna use. So with that in mind, we have v final, whoops, v final equals v naught plus a t. We don't even have to worry about x in this case. Get rid of that. Velocity final equals acceleration times time. So v final equals 3.5 times our given time, which we found found that out in the first problem, 931, to give us a final velocity, gives us a final velocity of 5.5 meters per second. And there you guys have it.